Hello everybody, my name is Dan and welcome again to Machine Learning and Data Science Open Source Spotlight. This is a weekly series where I cover great free-for-use Python repositories which I believe can benefit many people working in this field. So today we're going to get right down to it. So today I want to show you Feature Tools. Feature Tools is a Python package which can help you automate your feature extraction and feature engineering process. While this is already quite cool, I don't think the headline does justice to how great this package really is. And what really caught my eye in this package is how well it can handle nested data or multi-table, multi-sourced data. And this is what I want to show you today. So in this Google Colab environment, Feature Tools is already included. You can just import it. Uh, but if you have your own environment, pip install Feature Tools. Let's load our data and this is how it looks like. As you can see, it's not one big table containing all the relevant information. It's very common when working with big databases. The data is organized in different tables. And now we're looking at the schematics of an online uh, shopping website. And this is the structure. So we have a table containing information on customers. We have data containing on data on sessions that the customers, uh, when they log in, and we have a table uh, summarizing all the transactions that took place in the session. And very frequent in these databases, we have a unique key which links between the tables when we want to do some merging between them. So let's have a closer look. So this is how the tables look like. We have the customers table, session table and transaction tables. And what we may want to do is build a model around the customers and try to maybe predict what their purchase amount will be next month. But this data is not ready for a machine learning algorithm. We need some set of uniform features describing the customers and we need to extract it, somehow summarize all this information into the customer table. And this is tricky because a certain customer can have several sessions and in one session, as we see here, there can be multiple transactions. So we need to somehow summarize all the information uh, into one features that will be eventually describing the customer. And this is also tricky because there are different data types here. So the way I will summarize the amount where I can take the mean, max, average is different than how I will summarize the dates and different from how I will summarize categorical values such as the device. But Feature Tools helps you do this almost instantly. And this is what I want to show you. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to do a little dictionary describing our tables. So we need to do a dictionary like so where we type in the name of the table, the actual data, and the unique key for these uh, tables. So this is the customer ID, uh, session ID, and transaction ID. So this is how the dictionary looks like. Now we need to describe the relationships between the tables. So here we make a list, not a dictionary, and the format for the relationship is like stated here. It's the parent table and its unique key, and then the table connected to it and their common key, the key linking them. So for our problem, we have the customer table, which is specified by the customer ID. It's linked to the sessions, and the link between them is the customer ID, like so. And we do the same for the session table. The session table now is the parent, and its unique identifier is its ID and it's linked to transaction and their common link key is the session ID. So this is all we need. Now we can call this function from uh, feature tools and we give them the tables, the relationships between them, and we need to specify what uh, to what table to aggregate all this information. And now we can look at the result. And now we can see we have one table with uh, 73 features uh, describing each customer and we can see how the package handles every different data types differently. So for instance in the devices which are categoricals we took the mode what is the most frequent device that was used by the customer. For numerical features we have 
more detailed descriptive statistic, the standard deviation, the sum, the max, the skew, which is great. Um, the tool also recognizes date time format and parses them automatically to the year and month, weekday. And what's even more amazing that for uh, the sub tables, for example, we saw these statistics for the customer, but we can also see how, what is the max per session? What is the mean per session? And this is why it gives a lot of features, a lot of ways to look at this data. And from this table, a machine learning can certainly learn patterns and learn more about the customers. And if by any chance this is not enough for you, you can add your own aggregate functions quite easily uh, to this package and can still enjoy the API, the convenient API that is offered uh, by this package. I don't know about you, but this tool has been a life-changing discovery for me. I used to do all of this work manually and now I'm saving so much time using this package. What about you? Do you think you could have saved time in the past using this tool? And do you think you will use this tool in the future? Please let me know. I want to make these videos as relevant as possible to you.